Hello everybody. I am Dr. Ajay Kumar Bhuja from Assam, India. Today, I want to share my little bit of knowledge about diabetes mellitus to you. So my talk is totally dedicated to the common people. So I do not have, uh, I'm not going to show any slides, just I'm talking slowly, but I know a little bit about diabetes mellitus. So diabetes mellitus, as you know, is one of the most common disease and emerging disease day by day in the world. And as you, all of you know, India is called uh, uh, diabetic house nowadays. Almost 70 million people in India are suffering from diabetes at this very moment. And it is estimated that more than 100 million people will be affected by diabetes mellitus by 2030 in India. This is the Indian scenario. Uh, and all over the world, uh, the incidence is um, rising daily, uh, day by day. It is because, uh, all of you know, because of the uh, sedentary lifestyle, people are adopting less exercise, eating much food, petty foods, becoming obese. So these are the, all the risk factors for diabetes. So before going to uh, uh, the <clears throat> going for further, we have to know what is diabetes. What is the definition of diet, diabetes? So World Health Organization (WHO) defines diabetes mellitus as a metabolic disorder with chronic hyperglycemia, which is the result of abnormal fatty acid metabolism, protein metabolism, and carbohydrate metabolism, which results due to the insulin deficiency or insulin defect in the insulin secretion or defect in the insulin action, or maybe both combined together. So the so main defect is in insulin action. Insulin is a hormone which lowers our blood sugar level. So insulin controls the blood sugar level. Insulin is secreted from the beta cells of the pancreas. Beta cells of the pancreas. Pancreas is one of our organ, endocrine organ it is called. It secretes insulin and that secretes and that insulin, you know, controls our blood, press, uh, blood sugar. We, it, it keeps us normal glycemic. So, so when there is defect in the secretion of insulin, there or there may be uh, some resistance of insulin action by the target tissues. In this both condition, our blood sugar will not be controlled properly. So there will be hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia means uh, more sugar in the blood than the normal level. What is the normal level? Okay, I'll uh, I'll elaborate in uh, a little bit later. So, so first I have told you about the definition. The main thing is the insulin action or there may be insulin resistance in the target organs. Uh, because of this, uh, you know, uh, hyperglycemia can occur and that is called diabetes mellitus. So, what is the classification of diabetes mellitus? There are mainly four groups broadly divided into the first one is type A, type 1 diabetes mellitus. Earlier it was called insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Now this term is not used at all. And um, the type 2 diabetes mellitus Earlier it was called non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Then almost 90 to 95 percent cases of diabetes are type 2 diabetes mellitus. Type 1 diabetes mellitus usually occurs in the younger age group. And um, though it is rare, one thing uh, we have to remember, though it is rare, a uh, form of diabetes mellitus type 1, it is the most common chronic disorder in children. And 
चौथो टाइप वन डायबिटीज मेलेटस टाइप टू डायबिटीज मेलेटस नंबर थ्री अदर स्पेसिफिक डायबिटिक वजेज ऑफ डायबिटिक्स मेलेटस नंबर फोर इज अस्टेशनल डायबिटीज मेलेटस दैट मींस डायबिटीज ऑकर्स ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी सो अदर स्पेसिफिक टाइप्स देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ things that i am going to elaborate but uh, um, just remember some points there may be genetic defect uh, of beta cell function there may be uh, uh, defect in the action of insulin genetic defect there may be some viral infection some drugs and some uh, uh, drugs li like uh, vacor the pentamidine this can permanently damage the pancreatic cells and some viral infections like coxsackie rubella mumps they can also lead to diabetes mellitus so these are um, the classification of diabetes mellitus then when um, how it is diagnosed or what are the symptoms before going to diagnosis what are the symptoms of diabetes mellitus and why we should worry for diabetes so symptoms and signs signs and symptoms are not very characteristic but polyuria polydipsia पोलिफेजिया दिज आर द्री क्लासिकल फाइंडिंग फ्रम डायबेटिस एज ऑल ऑफ नो पोलिरा दैट मीन इनक्रीज फ्रिकुवेन्सी अफ यूरिन ऑकर्स पोलिफेजिया वन टू देर इज इनक्रीज हांगार एंड पोलिडिपिया मीन इनक्रीज थार्ट एंड मोर ओवर देर मे बी वेन द सुगर इज भेरी हाई पेशेंट मे फील सम डिजीनेस and the light headedness something like fatigue and weight loss this can occur in the advanced stage of diabetes mellitus that the thing is that the symptoms are not very prominent people may have diabetes for long long time but why we worry because this, this is a silent killer diabetes is a silent killer it silently destroying when this when your blood sugar is high above the normal range it affects in various organs which uh, get destroyed day by day so that mean main organs are the main organs involved in the diabetes are you know for your eyes this is called diabetic retinopathy then your kidney that is called diabetic nephropathy then your nerves that is called diabetic neuropathy so diabetic nephropathy diabetic uh, 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 retinopathy diabetic neuropathy so these are the microvascular complications of diabetes mellitus and but the most of the mortalities are then it will affect your heart and your brain cerebrovascular accidents are more common cva occurs heart attack occurs because of diabetes so these are the things why these are the complications we have to prevent in because in diabetes heart attack is very common cerebrovascular accidents are more common if you do not control your blood sugar that is why we should take regular treatment we have to worry for diabetes that is why diabetes mellitus is a dangerous disease but it proper remember but it proper diet and good control and with um, when ever you need in medicine you take it regularly it will not affect anything you will live as a normal person so what is the normal uh, sugar level when we will call a person diabetic we have to go for fasting blood sugar estimation that means after you have to take you take a light overnight diet light diet then you should not take anything for 8 to 10 hours in the morning you take your um, sugar uh, it take your blood you estimate your uh, sugar in the blood so if the blood sugar is more than 126 mg per deciliter then you are diabetic but remember not in one single occasion it should be in two 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 occasions then one is there 
blood sugar estimation two hours after eating something you take a meal good carbohydrate meal then you take blood sugar estimate blood sugar after two hours that is called postprandial blood sugar estimation if it is more than 200 milligram then you are diabetic and another thing or random blood sugar you take blood sugar at any time of the day if it is also more than 200 along with the symptoms of uh, diabetes polyuria polydipsia polyphagia as i already mentioned then you are diabetic but all these things should be uh, you should not confirm in one um, one one occasion at least two occasions you estimate this blood if the two one the hemoglobin glycosylated hemoglobin level another one if it is more than 6.5 then you think that uh, if it is more than 6.5 then it is also a strong suspicion strong indication that you are diabetic so these are the things and one term is here that is called pre-diabetic you are not normal glycemic nor more than so when your sugar is less than 140 when you are but in between 140 to 199 in if it is in that range postprandial sugar you are called pre-diabetic so pre-diabetics are not diabetic but they are prone to be diabetic in um, uh, another few years or few months later so um, you have to be worried when you are pre-diabetic you have to take all the measures that I am going to have diabetes so I have to control it so in that stage if you are diagnosed then I think you are lucky and you can take all the necessary <coughs> uh, steps to control your um, blood sugar so remember blood sugar control is not uh, very um, difficult but it should be consistent you, you improve your lifestyle lifestyle modification is the most important diet control control your diet avoid fatty food fry food avoid these things switch um, you avoid these things so you take good healthy food remember healthy good food is the actually food for diabetes that way all, everybody can take lots of vegetables fresh fruit uh, brown rice that means fruit with lower glycemic value we should take in diabetes mellitus exercise is must you do exercise good cardio go for half an hour exercise in the morning or evening but whenever you get time your diabetes will <coughs> get controlled very soon because exercise causes as earlier i mentioned that type 2 diabetes there is the resistance of there is the resistance of insulin actually in the target tissue and in exercise causes um, the and that's a decreased resistance it makes the insulin sensitive it makes the insulin sensitive again to the target tissue so it will definitely lower the blood sugar level and moreover it will give uh, you are uh, feeling of um, it, will, it will tune your body, your mind, uh, refreshment. So go for exercise. A good exercise program is definitely very much beneficial to control not only diabetes, your hypertension and all these things. So importance of exercise and diet. This is you cut your sugar level. You do not take fry food. Do not take uh, fatty foods, avoid fatty foods, take lots of vegetable fruits, you can take everything, but you uh, take it, uh, uh, it in a calculative way. If you take um, little, one higher glycemic value uh, food in the morning, it cut in the evening. So proper dietary plan and exercise desire to are a mainstay of treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. That is the most common variety of diabetes mellitus. So even after, um, uh, if it is not controlled, then you can go for. Then you go to your doctor, and check your blood sugar regularly. And uh, in our my next uh, video, I will show how to uh, test your sugar 
by a glucometer it's very easy but in my next video i am going to do that i will show i will show you where that so then you go for some oral drugs then if it is not controlled by oral drugs you have to go for insulin also uh, i am not going to um, uh, elaborate these things <coughs> Second thing, in type 1 diabetes mellitus, which usually occurs in the younger age group, the treatment is mainly insulin because it is, there is complete extraction of the um, pancreas, the absolute deficiency of the insulin in the body. So, uh, you, have to, you have to go for insulin in that earlier age group. And gestational diabetes also you have to go for insulin, but after that, after the baby, part of the baby, you can uh, uh, most of the gestational diabetics do not go for diabetes, but some of them uh, may develop diabetes mellitus in a later life. So I think it is little bit. Um, I have, I have, I have. Um, I have already crossed 16 minutes, so, so I think I should stop now. So, if I can, uh, if I, if my video is fair, um, video you are liking, like my video, then please share and uh, give some like comments. Then I will, I am going to prepare for my next video about the. Uh, about the about well, I will show you how to um, test uh, your sugar level uh, by a glucometer. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching me. Nice, thank you.